everyone. Today we're going to be making a Takashi Murakami inspired flower design. So for this project you're going to need a very large piece of white paper. We are going to be possibly using a pencil and a circle stencil if you're a little nervous about diving right into what I'll be doing which is using a um, bingo dauber of India ink but you can also use a sharpie in this step as well. Um, aside from that you're going to need some colorful oil pastels and you're going to need some watercolor brushes and water. All right, let's dive in and get started. If you're a little anxious to just dive right in with your bingo dauber or with your Sharpie, you can draw your flower ahead of time in pencil. That way you have some sort of guideline to go by. So if you choose to do this, you can get a circle stencil, either a tracer or a round bowl or anything like that. And you can draw right in the middle of your paper with your pencil a nice circle shape. And then around that you can draw some half moon petals, some curvy petals that come out of it. If you choose to do this step this way first, that is fine. Don't worry if some petals are smaller, some are bigger. It's all toony fun of Takashi's work. So if you choose to do this step, great, do it with um, pencil and a stencil, or you can just braid in and avoid that first step and just go in with your Sharpie, or in my case, my Bingo Dauber with India ink. These are awesome. You can get a lot done and it dries super, super fast. So if you did draw it ahead of time, you're gonna trace over your lines with this, or if you didn't draw ahead of time, you're just gonna dive right in with this. So we're going to draw with our bingo dauber right on top of our pencil lines. We're also going to draw a face in here. For our face, we're just gonna do two lines for the eyes, and then we're gonna do a line straight across, and then a curved underneath to create a nice big open smile. When you, realize, when you notice that your ink is not wet, you can get your pencil and you can erase any leftover pencil marks if you have any. And now we're ready for the next step, which is going to be using our oil pastels. So what we're gonna do is decide ahead of time what colors we want for our petals. Are every petal going to be a different color of the rainbow? Do you think that you are going to do um, alternating colors, maybe blue and yellow and blue and yellow and blue and yellow and kind of do a pattern. You have to kind of plan ahead before you dive into this. So once you figure out what you're doing, I think I'm actually going to do a rainbow one. Um, you're going to go into your first petal and you're going to create patterns with the color that you plan on painting it with. So whatever color you plan on painting it, you want to go in with some patterns first. So I'm going to make this one red. So I'm going to go in with some patterns and I think I'm just going to do some spirals in this shape. I'm going to fill every part of it with a pattern. There we go. And then I'm going to continue on doing my rainbow order with different patterns. Once I've filled this in with all of my colored patterns, remember you could do what I did and do a rainbow order. You could do something totally different. You could do all the same color. You could have some that are alternating patterns as well. Now we're going to dive in with our watercolor. Usually when we are doing a oil pastel and watercolor together, we're trying to create a resist. So usually I would suggest to use a different color than what you drew with so that the oil pastel really, really pops out. In this case, we actually want the oil pastel to be a little bit more subtle. That means not as obvious. So we want to choose the same color this time to put on top of our oil pastel so that it just sort of hides and blends in. We want these patterns to end up being almost like secret patterns, hidden. As always, to activate our watercolors. We're going to put a few drips of water inside the colors that we plan on using. I'm 
Once your watercolors are ready, we're going to dive in. Choose whatever color we used for the oil pastel. We're going to do the same color on top of it. The oil pastel should be thick enough though that it'll still pop out so you can still see the patterns. It's just a little bit more subtle, meaning not as obvious. Do the same thing for all the colors, no matter what colors you chose. thing to do is color in the face and the mouth. You can choose whatever color face and mouth that you want. It's 100% up to you. It does not have to match at all or it could totally match. But try to pick one solid color for the face and one solid color for the mouth. all done. Our Takashi Murakami inspired flower design is all finished and all we have to do is wait for this to dry. When it does dry you're going to see these beautiful little subtle oil pastel patterns popping out from the petals and feel free to leave it as is or you could even cut it out and hang it up that way. Can't wait, can't wait to see what kinds of colors and what sort of patterns you decide to use.